Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm Kylie, and thank you for joining me on my RV renovation saga. Yes, I'll call it a saga. As you can see, I'm just going right in, starting to paint in the bathroom. Uh, same process as the bedroom, just in a different room, I guess. So it started by cleaning it off, as you saw, and then going in with the primer. The bathroom was a lot easier in terms of being able to reach everything that I needed to paint. In the bedroom, everything was in such close quarters, it was difficult to reach a lot of the spaces that I needed to get the paint and primer with. But in here, it just felt like a joyride. I was like, I can reach everything, it's perfect. I have finished priming the bathroom, you guys. It is all primed. It is very white in here. It's not going to stay white. This I also had to prime. It looks really nice on camera, so I'm glad. Um, I haven't done any of the doors yet. The doors like are still in the tub. I just put them there uh, so I didn't get them mixed up with other doors that I have off right now. But I have completely finished priming the bathroom and now I get to prime the doors and then start painting, so, yay. Hello everyone, so I am currently painting bathroom cabinets, or cabinet doors. I have them all laid out here and some of them are primed. I think I have to do a couple more coats on a few of them, but one of them is completely, <laughs> there's a bee. So one of them was completely dry and I went to do my first coat of actual paint color on it and this is what it looks like. You can barely tell the difference between the paint and the primer, like they are very, very similar. So it's too light, it's lighter than what I wanted. So I went and I found my mom and I was like, what do we do because my paint color, I'm not super happy with it. So my mom had some like gray paint laying around and we are currently trying to mix our own color so I'm taking this gray that my mom has and I'm mixing it in with this to try to get a color that I like and then we'll mix it in with the entire gallon so that it all matches the things I do for this so I'm gonna try to mix some more with this and very slowly try to find a color that I like yep because I did one the first time yep so now you so have now it's two, two sticks, sticks. Oh yeah, I, I started putting it on there and I was like, am I priming again? <laughs> hmm, interesting. Mm -hmm. So you can really tell, even just it being here for a few minutes, how much darker it's gotten as it's dried. And yeah, I think I'm happy with that. So it is way too hot today for me to deal with my hair. So this is what we're getting. Butterfly clip and claw clip. <laughs> Got some more painting to do for the bathroom cabinet doors. This one here, I kind of forgot about, so I didn't start yet. That one has to get sanded, primed, and painted. That's for like the big bathroom like closet area. And then this one needs to flip and do coats on the back. Same with these two, and then these ones I haven't painted with color yet. You can't really tell very well, but these ones need to get like the light gray, and then obviously the one I haven't started yet. So, that is what we're working on right now. back in the camper because while that coat of paint dries I'm gonna start painting the actual cabinets in here let's start painting in the bathroom 
if you guys are new here please subscribe i'm obviously working on my rv renovation and i will be living in it full time afterwards so if you want to stick around for that journey i highly recommend hitting the subscribe button i am so happy you guys are here and leave a comment down below because i'd love to converse with you guys and hear what you're thinking about the renovation so far so a lot of places in my RV have this little rail here to keep things in and I like that idea but I don't like how these look. So I'm using a pry bar to pry it up and get it out. I did the first one up there just to make sure that this would work and it works perfectly. Really easy actually. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to take all of these off but I'm just trying to get in between here and very slowly just pry it up because it's pretty much only in there with nails. So I'm under now. I'm just gonna very slowly start to pry it up. Alright, and she's out. One of the nails was stuck in there, but I'll get that out with the pliers. It looks so much more modern now. I'm gonna replace it with something though, so it's gonna go back, but it's gonna be a lot. Oh man, I got paint on the door. Hello! We are tackling the shower. Ooh! I got these tiles, peel and stick tiles. They're not real tiles, that's what I've been calling them. But they're just like peel and stick um, ones that look like this. They're 12 by 12 sheets. And I think this is gonna look really good up there because I'm going with kind of a black and white monochrome tone in the bathroom. So everything that I got is like black, whites, and grays. So I think this is gonna look really good. We're doing it up here and we're also covering this down here. My mo main reason is I wanna cover the flower wallpaper. To prep the walls, the package recommended using either TSP or rubbing alcohol. So my mom had this huge thing of isopropyl alcohol and I just put that on a paper towel and ran it all along the walls and they were quite dirty, actually. We're gonna get started on the shower. Ooh, ooh. So just run that along the top and then cock down here. Maybe. So I spray the wall with the Windex or I spray this or- Spray the wall. And then do I rub it in or- Nope, you leave it wet. Like a fine mist. Yep, yep, spray it up. Like all around, just one little. Just where this has got to go. Like on the edges? So, like from, let's say from blue flower to the edge. What do you think? Does it look like it's the same amount of space, pretty much? Yeah. So, make sure you spray it on the tile because we need to be able to make sure that. We can move this a little bit if we need to. How does that look? Well, from the bedroom it looks great. It's lined up. Yep, looks great. Look at that! Hee hee hee. Alright, ready, set. I would like to take this opportunity to say how obsessed I am with these tiles. They were so easy to put on. I highly recommend them. I believe I got them on Amazon. I will link them down below for you, but I highly recommend. I really enjoyed the process of putting them on. It was so easy. The Windex is such a nice hack and it made it so much less of a chore to put them up. And I'm just in love with how they look. So we finished it up here, the sticky tiles, and I think it looks so good. It really modernized it and gave it a homey feel. So now I'm going to do this down here. Um, my mom and dad actually have to go leave unexpectedly. They have to go help out a friend. Also, what I did up here was we bought this like sticky stuff that's supposed to be like an edge for a tile. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it looks like this. It comes in like a big roll and it was super easy to just put up 
on that edge and it gives it such a finished feel. So I have some more. I have just enough to cover down here. But I'm going to get working on this now and hopefully finish it up today. Okay, fun fact, I just had to go help my parents move my fifth wheel hitch from, well it's not mine, it's their fifth wheel hitch from my truck into their truck and it's pouring rain out so my hair's all wet now and I had to go change clothes because my clothes got soaked. So I'm wearing this Robert Pattinson shirt. That's why I look different now is I had to run outside and play in the rain, but it was fun. So now that I'm dry again, I can finish the tile. So let's do that. <laughs> try to stick it on and then exacto knife it but I don't know if that's gonna work or not it can't be worse than this shit that I did so maybe let's just try it because if I do the this it'll slip around so I'll just try it all right last tile Woo! Okay, so now I'm going to put this on top here on this upper edge and I'll show you guys how easy it is. So I just peel the spread stuff off and that's how easy it is and now it looks all done and nice and neat. <laughs> but it just is really nice because it adds to that like luxurious feel that I want for my bathroom. Mm -hmm. 